Hi, Matt with E-Trailer, and today we're talking about the Titan Chains tire chains with twist links and cams on a 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. Now, our tire size today is going to be 275, 65, R20, but this is going to be able to fit a range of different tire sizes. To make sure you have the correct one, you can just plug in your vehicle's year, make, and model and tire size to make sure you have the correct one and size. And we're going to have this on our rear axle as what the manual recommends. So let's check them out. These are going to be a great set of chains for you if you're going for some more moderate snow and ice conditions. And that's going to be because we do have these twist links on here. Those twist links are going to help you get through snow and ice. Now they're not going to give you that bite like square links will or V-bars, but they're going to allow you to sit more low pro profile and give you an overall smoother ride. They're also going to be made of a low carbon steel, so they'll still be pretty durable. Maybe not as durable as more of our nickel alloys, but they'll definitely get the job done. And we're going to have this ladder pattern to them, and that ladder pattern is going to help provide you more traction when stopping and stop, uh, starting. Now in the center, we're going to have our cams. And earlier I said this is going to be the chains with cams. And what cams do is help pull out some of the slack we have in our chains. So this is a really quick and easy way to make sure your chains are a lot more tight. Now I still recommend using a rubber tensioner anytime, and that's just because when you are driving, this can loosen up just a little bit, and those rubber tensioners are gonna help pull any of that slack out. These chains are gonna come two to a set, and they're gonna come in this pretty light duty bag. They're also gonna have this included tool, and that's what's gonna tighten down your cams. Now, I'm not a real big fan of this bag since it is pretty light duty. And these are a little bit more heavier duty chains, so what's gonna happen over, with over time is they're eventually gonna start ripping through this bag. Now, they're not as light duty as some of the other bags have handled, so they might last you a little bit longer, maybe after five or six uses, but over time, this will definitely degrade. So what I recommend doing is just investing in a small tote to keep your chains in. Now overall, I think this is going to be a great set of chains for anyone who is driving through those moderate snow and ice conditions and wants something that's going to be a little bit easier to tighten your chains too. Now if you're not a big fan of cams, because sometimes they can loosen up while you're driving or get tangled up or snagged, then you actually can get the same set of chains without the cams. I still recommend though using a rubber tensioner. If you're curious about how we got these on here, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through the process. Begin the installation process, I recommend grabbing some gloves to make this a lot easier. And if you are doing this for the first time, I recommend doing it at home so you don't have to figure out how to do it on the side of the road in the middle of a blizzard. But what we're looking for when we're checking over our chains is if there's any damages to the links themselves and making sure nothing's twisted up. We also want to make sure that is in the right orientation, that these hooks are facing up so they're away from our tires. And if we look down these chains, we we'll notice we have these cams. And we want to make sure these cams are not already tightened, they're loosened up, they should look like this, and they're closest to us and furthest away from the tire. Now we're going to start throwing these on the uh, tires, and to do that, I recommend just grabbing it from the center, lifting up, and draping it over a tire. At this point, I like to grab from the other side too and lift up because I don't want it dragging across that rim because it could scratch some things up. And at this stage, I'm really just kind of making sure everything is pretty even. Nothing's hanging down too low. And everything's gonna be pretty easy to grab when I'm making the connections on the front and back. Speaking of the back, when you're ready to make that connection, we're just going to grab this middle hook and run it through one of these links over here. And our goal is not to make this too tight because if we make it too tight, it's not going to tighten correctly on the front and vice versa. We want, we want to make sure it's pretty even on both sides. The connection on the front is going to be a little bit different. So instead of a hook this time, we're going to have this lever and we're going to push this through one of our links until it runs all the way across and we can tighten this down. And once it's tightened down, we're gonna push this link that's hanging off through this 
section right here. Now, if I kind of pull on this, it's pretty tight, but it's, it could be tightened a little bit more. So what I can do is grab our included tool and tighten these cams down. To do that, I'm just going to push this more flat section through this hole. I'm going to turn this until these links go through that channel and tighten down some. I'm just going to do that all the way across where it feels kind of loose still. Right here, I could probably tighten it up a little bit more. That's probably going to be pretty good there. Because, yeah, if I check everywhere, this is a tight fit. What I can do still is grab a rubber tensioner. Now, I recommend using one of these still because this can loosen up while you're driving. And what the rubber tensioner is going to do is keep applying pressure while you drive. And when you put these on, I recommend putting them on like a star pattern because this is going to help apply, apply pressure all the way throughout. And we want to make sure these hooks, once I get them on here, are facing the correct way. I want to make sure these are facing out and away from our tire. And that's just because if they're facing the other way, they could puncture our tire. And once you have this done, I recommend just kind of giving it a pull test and then repeating that same process on the other side. And after that, you can either pull forward or backward some, just to make sure everything's seating well. And if it is, then you can hit the road. But that's just a look at the Titan Chains tire chains with twist links and cams on our 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. Thanks for watching.